Hello and welcome to another Senpai Goddess Haven unboxing volume 4 and yeah this box is another box that got sent to me from Kenji and we are looking for uh, a sex rare from Toga, SER from Mona, SLR from Nessa from I think it's a Pokemon yeah character and SLR from Makima. So I will try my best to pull something nice for you. And I see this for the first time, this envelope. Very weird. Lucky goddess. Uh, okay, it's just a, just one of these gold cards that are numbered to 200. Yeah, very weird like these. These are all like custom cards and they don't have like real value, but they, some of these still sell for quite a lot of money, which is super weird, but <laughs> I don't know, there's one thing with like putting numbers on the back of cards and it's making like American people crazy. I don't know. I don't see this really this hype in in Germany to be honest, but like with all these numbers cards, there are like random custom cards, custom gold cards, and just because there are only one hundred and people are like, Oh, this should be worth two hundred dollars or something crazy. It's super weird to me. Like just because you you print a uh, number 100 on it, it's not making it like valuable, but yeah, as you think. I don't know, it's very weird to me. So yeah, the 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 crown or like the, the set itself, sent by Goddess Haven, is not really big like the the common cards and also like the ZR cards. You get like a I hit in every pack, but for example, like the the UR and also I think the UR also, uh, they don't contain of many cards. Like with one box, you should be if you are not unlucky, you should be able to pull all ZR cards, for example, because there are only nine different ZRs, and also I think also nine different URs. I have to check again, but yeah, if you want to to see a slower unboxing, maybe check out my, my first video. Okay, where I take some some more time. But I think at this point it's getting a little bit like, uh, yeah, maybe you have seen other unboxings of this set and the regular cards, they, they are it's a very small set, just the, the big hits or like the increased numbers of big hits per box is a nice thing to be honest. Or even like the the ZR cards are feeling more special. There are some quality issues with the UR cards and the ZR cards sometimes where the hollow foil is very dark and there's like no contrast. And uh, yeah, that's a little bit annoying because they are looking not very good anymore. Like this this teddy bear, like the whole character is uh, just very dark. You are and oh, we're pulling like the hits back to back. Our second XR. I really like the XR rarity. When when you tilt the card, you can see that the character has like these gold outlines, and they are thick, but not too thick actually, from the cardstock. I really like the XR cards. And yeah, there should also be two, I think two MR cards guaranteed per box. And I don't remember if there were like one, one guaranteed hit above these rarities. Okay, Mill Tank, Jesse again. But yeah, compared to the previous Senpai Goddess Haven, I think really they try to improve. Yeah, they actually did improve. But yeah, compared to the previous set who or which came out after each like the third set came like three weeks after the second set. Oh, I think this is the MR I pulled from my own box too. MR Hatago. Or third hit. And yeah. I don't know if the the high hits like Kenji is looking for. I throw away the uh yeah, the, the SLRs or SERs. 
if they are in the actual packs or only in the box topper. I, I don't know this, to be honest. You are Keking and that are Kikyo. So, but I still think, like, even with all the duplicates, it's a little bit, yeah, you get a lot of duplicates when you buy multiple boxes. But this is an issue with a lot of these AliExpress boxes, that if you want to, to hunt for a certain high hit, you will end up with so many duplicates in the lower rarities. And yeah, our second MR, Karma. Don't remember this one. But yeah, so it's... I don't know, it makes more sense to just go for the single cards. Like, you, there are many shops on AliExpress which sell uh, singles too. So I would tend to, like, buy just the, the card you're looking for. And yeah, this Ray Ayanami from Evangelion, I've looked in, in other unboxings, they all have this error. I thought that's only my card, but like they they are trolling, like they, like, a, a, I don't know, brain damage. Really sad that all, all cards have this, this issue. So, Helena, maybe they are, okay, her face looks weird. But yeah, in general, I, I don't know, the, the lower rarities or like the characters in this set, they don't really, yeah, give me anything, to be honest. Like, I don't know them. I, I don't like the designs this much, either like AI art or... Weirdly looking, to be honest. Oh, this is maybe pretty nice, Nakano. You are and that are Hinata. So, okay, this feels heavy. This is not the, the box topper pack. This is the box topper pack, but this random pack feels heavier. So, yeah. I, I would really not buy single packs of these AliExpress boxes because I know you can, like, wait... Pokemon, I think you still can wait Pokemon. Maybe not in, in English, but the last time I checked uh, a YouTube video about the German packs, you could wait the, the German uh, booster packs. Or maybe they changed something. But yes, yeah, especially with these AliExpress boxes when there is like a, a trifold or a bifold card you can easily like wait them or even you don't have to wait them at all it, you can just feel the packs and you know that there is there's a hit which is thicker than the usual cards yeah this is one of the ZRs I didn't pull which is a little bit sad because I, I actually like Detective Conan a lot it's one of the very few animes I, I bought on DVD Usually I don't buy many because, especially in Germany, uh, the prices because of the, I think because of the voice acting, uh, the DVDs of animes are so expensive. It's absolutely crazy. So yeah, I, I don't really buy anime. Just that I, I bought Dragon Maid, uh, Miss, uh, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. I think, yeah, some some Bleach, because there was like a sale on uh, Bleach Blu-rays. And Conan, yeah. So not really many other URs, more duplicates. Another brain-damaged Ray. And then the last regular pack. And I think then I will, yeah, I will open the... I will actually open the box topper first because I think the the special card in the regular pack is more special than the box topper. It's an LSP, but it's not one of the characters Kenji wanted. I have no idea where she's from. Maybe num no, not numbered. Okay, not a numbered card. But. There should be something cool in this in this pack. Please, one of the, the cards. 
I really tried my best, but so far I wasn't super lucky, I think. What is it? Okay, it's a very thick looking SSP. Oh, it's also not numbered. I expected it to be numbered. But I don't know the characters. No idea. Not one of the, the cards you wanted. But yeah, I, I have another box from Senpai Goddess Haven from Kenji, uh, which I will open on or for my Patreon at some point. Maybe I will be lucky there. So yeah, let's end the video. I also didn't prepare. Again, no, no force of will pack for this unboxing. So let's check. I I got many many boxes uh, on a sale from this from this set and TCG. So one day, not today, will be the day I pull the Anubis. I just hope. But it's a beautiful artwork too. Just don't like the foiling. Lacking contrast too. But yeah. Thank you for watching and see you in my next unboxing. Bye.